Welcome, Becky Culture family. In this quick visit to Ogunsi family, we want to talk about the Oni of Ife Oba Adeyeye Enita Ogunsi and his third wife, Olori Tobi Ogunsi. I'm sure most of you must have seen this video Olori Tobi shared on our social media, but just in case you haven't seen it, take a look. Now that video says a lot. You know, I've said it in some of my previous videos that this lady has been in the Oni's life even before Queen Naomi was married into the palace. Can you see those major throwbacks? Anyways, Oloritobi shared the video on social media saying that Oni made her long time dream come true by inviting Timmy Dakolo to sing Iyawomi at their wedding. So what I can understand from this is that Oloritobi and Oni actually had another wedding celebration in the palace. Note that when she had a marriage ceremony back in October, the Oni was not present. And that's the same with the other wives as well. Looks like that's the culture in the Ileife kingdom. As a king, he doesn't go to he, he doesn't go to marry wife. He's been represented by his father, mother, and family members. They go and perform all the marriage rites and then bring Iyawo to his house for him. <laughs> but looks like Oloritobi did not settle for that. This short clip here shows that they had another celebration together in the palace. And making it more interesting for her is the fact that Timmy Dakolo came there live to perform Iyawomi for both of them. She said this has been her dream for eight years now that Timmy Dakolo will sing Yawomi at her wedding and she's saying a big thank you to KBAC for bringing her dream to reality. So Loritobi is the third wife of the Oni. She is a fashion entrepreneur and artist. She is also an ex-beauty queen and she believes in dedication to marriage. So let's just take a quick throwback to this marital advice she shared back in September. What's the whole point of getting married if you do not intend to keep to that promise you made before God and man? I do. I promise to love you forever, together, blah, blah, blah. Your marriage is just a piece of paper if all you do is chase everything under his court, you know? And this also goes for the women. Did you just get married? so people can call you missus just for for societal sake or did you get married because you really love the person and you really truly want to be with the person and build the family build a life build a home with them i say this because so many marriages are short-lived and it gets me wondering like what's going on what's happening to people like are you people making these choices just because you want to have the ceremony you know or you're making these choices because you really want to like stop ruining the image of marriage for those of us who really want to get married and you know stay married if you know you don't love somebody enough don't bother getting married to them if you know you can't exactly stand this person don't make that choice because of society because you want to bear misses stop it because cohabiting with somebody causes a lot of sea finish and it takes the grace of God for you to maintain that longevity. So, if you know you really don't have it in you, stop stressing. You can, you know, be on the street, have fun. Nobody's going to hold you. But when you make that choice, live with it and be ready to, you know, maintain it. So that's how Oloritobi believes that one should be dedicated in their marriage. Looks like these women are really serious with this marriage thing, even though it's six of them. <laughs> Forgive me if I sound funny, but sometimes I just try to wrap my head around the idea. But let me know what you think about this in the comment section. I'll be waiting to read and reply your comments. So yeah, let's just drop our thoughts and opinions in the comment section. 
This broadcast was brought to you by Becky Culture TV, where we share content that evolves around people, events, and places. If you're new to the channel, you're most definitely welcome. You can become a family member by subscribing to our YouTube channel. I'll be so happy to have you as part of the Becky Culture family. If you're already a family member, thank you so much for tuning in. I'll see you in my next one. Bye for now.